I want to read a passage of your book that is of particular interest to me. Now I can see that I could not see as a teenager the romance and the epic dimensions of a long-lasting marriage. And then a bit later you say, from where I stand in the middle of my own home epic, my own mundane grand domestic adventure, in which I attempt to live in sympathy with the family I have made, I now look upon the accomplishment of early dawning, long-lasting love with something like awe. When I turn the last pages of Middlemarch and read about Fred and Mary, for whom you had very little regard as a young girl, that's not in the book, I just add that, I think of my parents who met when they were barely past childhood and who grew white hair together until in the hours before dawn, one winter morning nearly 60 years after their wedding day, my father died with my mother at his side, holding his hand and speaking softly to him of sweet memories in common. Middle March gives me my parents back to me. In the pages of my imagination, they are still together watching me and watching over me from the window of their lives under the pale sunlit of the place I came from and still call home. Writing the book gave me the opportunity to go back in imagination and, and think about what their marriage had been, which I had spent so little time thinking about when I was young, except I don't want to do anything like that. You know, I want to leave, I want to go, I am not going to marry anybody I've known since I was 15. God help me. And I regarded that kind of, that kind of relationship, that kind of marriage as, as completely uninteresting and, and unromantic. Um, and now, you know, in reading the story of Fred and Mary, who are betrothed as children and marry, and then we discover at the end of Middlemarch, spend their whole lives together. I recognized these are, these are my parents and what a grand accomplishment that is. This book is written in a spirit of, of love and admiration and, and immense gratitude to my parents. And as I, you know, my father, my father died, um, you know, two months before I wrote that passage about his death. And I had been sending, I knew that my father probably wouldn't live long enough to, uh, for me to even finish the book, let alone publish it. And I, as I wrote chapters, I sent them off to my parents so that they could see and he could see uh, at least something of, he of what I was doing. He did. And, he, and he did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the longevity is particularly speak, uh, speaks particularly strongly to me. My parents were, my mother died recently, and they were married for over 70 years. What it's, would that be? I mean, what would that be to have your whole love, life, in one place, with one person, forever? You know, that's what, you know, th that was what I realized when I, didn't get married until I was in my late 30s and I had lots of love affairs before then. And the, the one thing that I'll never experience is that long-lived love in one place, that home epic shared with one person for a whole lifetime. I find it awe-inspiring and uh, it, beyond romantic. Uh, I, I find it you know, beautiful and, and, and awesome.